Hi all, welcome back. It's Fleur from Fleurs by Design. Today I'm doing something really fun. Um, I joined up uh, uh, scrapbooknerd.ca and they are having a layout tag. If you don't know what that is, basically everybody signs up who wants to participate and then they start with a layout and it's kind of like telephone tag when you were younger. It goes from one person to another person to the next person and each person uses that uh, previous layout as inspiration for their layout and so you know in the olden days when we played telephone tag it was you know you'd start out with the word supercalifragilistic and end up with something completely different at the end so these are always a lot of fun because we start out with an inspiration and as the layout gets passed from one person to another they take inspiration from somewhere so usually the last layout ends up totally different so I am part of a layout tag and I got this awesome layout um, in the mail today and I have three days to finish it and send it back so um, the first thing I thought is um, I took my inspiration from the plain background paper and the three photos and then I'm going to cluster them uh, off to the side like that and put my title in the same area so it's going to be almost identical to this one I really love the three photos kind of stacked together and I really loved the plain background but kind of all this fun stuff clustered in one area so that's where I'm taking my inspiration from this and I'm using the Amy Tangerine collection and I'm going to use this plain background and then I have some fun uh, pattern papers that I can use I might even fussy cut some flowers I have these cute little rubber um, these are from Amy Tangerine as well as well as this cute this is um, a rub on pen and it's got a little XOXO on it so I want to use that and then these are the cute puffy stickers so I'll probably use those on there as well so I am going to use these photos and this is from the day that we took my son's grade 7 grad photos because he graduates and he starts high school next year so uh, we went and took a whole bunch of photos of, for, of him and um, my oldest son was there too so I managed to squeeze all of us into a selfie so um, I'm going to use those three photos and I'm going to probably fussy cut some flowers. I haven't done that for a while and that's one of my favorite things to do and this, this um, pattern paper collection has a really nice uh, flower pattern in it. So I will be back to show you how I get started in just a second. Okay, <clears throat> so I've basically cut up all the flowers. So this is from one of the pattern paper sheets and all I've done is cut up the flowers really not very detailed either and even the ones that run along the edge of the paper I keep them because you can just basically hide them underneath the photos and I've just layered it into kind of a big clump kind of where she has all the ink and stuff on her layout and then I'm going to layer my photos on there. So I've got one, two, and then this one will go right there. So that'll be like that. And then I'm using these um, letter stickers. I mean, I know they're thickers. I think they're from a Dear Lizzie collection, but I'm not really sure. So um, I'm using these and I'm going to spell out um, grad photo here along the side. And then I'm going to go in and add some embellishments. So I'm just going to go glue this all down because I haven't glued anything down yet. And I'll come back to show you how I finish it all up. Okay, so I've done just gluing down my flowers and I've also used um, just a really thin foam tape. This is a really, really thin one um, just to put under some of the top flowers to have, give it dimension and then glue down um, just around a piece of like little pattern paper in there. That's where the photos are going to go so I don't need to have it all the way to the middle. And the next thing I'm going to do is just um, add my photos. So I have my three photos here and I think I'm just going to add them like that. And I'm going to put on my title. So I am going to kind of pick where my center is. And then the grad will go on top. And it's nice. This is a grid pattern. So it's going to make it really easy for me to kind of um, make my title straight. That's one of the things that I kind of struggle with is I'm not a perfectionist. So I tend to not make things perfectly straight. So um, but that's okay with me. I'm okay with that. I know it probably would drive some people crazy, but we're just going to add the title um, grad photo and my A just lost its tape, so I'll have to tape that one down. I just want to see where I put it there, so grad. And then um, I'm going to center the O in photo to the middle of this, which is this line here, and we'll just use that as the center point. And keep adding um, 
and my stickers are just getting stuck. I just put them on this piece of vellum just so I could see what it looked like before I actually glued it down. I'm, I'm one of those don't glue till the very end kind of people. So um, I usually use something like this just to kind of place things to see how they look before I commit to them. So we're going to do grad photo. T and the O right here. Okay, so there's my title done. Trying to do it as straight as possible. So I've got my my title done. I've got that. And then I'm just going to go through my embellishments here. And I'm probably going to add these cute little, um, maybe the leaves and the flower over here, just to kind of tie it all in. Let's do grad photo. And then I'd like to add this you and me there. I could maybe add that along the bottom there. And uh, you know what, I think I'm going to try and use up... I'm one of those people that tends to like hoard embellishments, so I think I'm going to try and use all of them up, except this dark blue one. This dark blue one probably doesn't really go, so I'm going to hold on to that one and the yellow one. But there we go, I've kind of added those in there. And then I also have some puffy stickers. So I could also, um, I could add, I was thinking maybe the XOXO XO underneath the grad photo title. Um, and maybe the little camera and, you know, maybe a couple of the other ones. So let me just go through and see how I'm going to do that. I'll be back in just a few seconds. Okay, so I think I'm done. All I did was glue everything down, added the rubber um, little embellishments, and then I also added the uh, Rub-On XOXO as well as the XOXO Puffy Stickers and another little Puffy Sticker there. And I'm going to call that one done. I was going to add some ink splatters like in the picture, but I don't think it really goes with this layout because it's so florally and pretty. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I can't wait to see how this layout tag turns out. If you want to check it out, you can go over to scrapbooknerd.ca. I'm probably not going to post this video until uh, the layout tag is done so that nobody gets any ideas of what's going on with the layout tag. So you can always go check it out there. It'll probably be up once I have this video up. It's scrapbooknerd.ca and I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs, up, a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.